Thank you, Bob, for that introduction. Boy, it's hard to follow my great colleague, Louise Slaughter. Isn't she wonderful? So. Well, thank you so much to Americans for the Arts for coming back to the Capitol and for your advocacy and to our wonderful NEA and NEH chairs. Thank you for all the work that you do. Uh, did everybody hear Norman Lear last night? Wasn't he inspirational? His message about the potential of the arts to bring people together was incredibly inspiring. And I'm honored to be here today and to represent a district that really values the arts. And I want, I want to share a message from Portland. Uh, last week, uh, the Pacific Northwest College of Arts had a grand uh, opening of its new home. And President, uh, PNCA President Tom Manley said this, Creativity is the world's most powerful, sustainable resource. To meet the world's fierce challenges, we need creative thinking now more than ever. And I couldn't agree more. Uh, now, you're here today because you value the arts, as I do. And, and we understand that the, what the arts contribute uh, to our society, to our culture, how they enlighten us, enrich us, the beauty of the arts. We value the, what the arts bring to our lives. I have to say that not all of my colleagues agree with that. So we're constantly looking for new ways to talk about why support for the arts is important. Now we can talk about how they inspire creativity and innovation, and you've heard about the economic uh, impact of uh, arts in our communities. So in light of all of these benefits and all of the potential, why is there not more support for arts education? Now I serve on the education committee, we're working on a, a rewrite of No Child Left Behind. I have to say that we're not where we need to be, there isn't enough support in the current bill uh, for a well-rounded education that includes the arts, so we still have some work to do. Your visit here today is particularly timely because we're in the middle of that process now, working on education. And you heard from Bob uh, that I also serve on the Committee on Science, Space, and Technology, where we talk a lot about STEM education, science, technology, engineering, and math. Important, indeed. But how can they be better? How can we get more students engaged through incorporating the arts? Now, we found that STEAM, adding arts and design to STEM, not only engages more students, it helps students to think outside the box in new creative ways, leads to more innovation, and that's exactly what we need in our future, in our economy, uh, in our country, and around the world. So when I spoke a couple years ago, we only had 25 members. We're now close to 70. And what I'd like from you today is to enlighten your, uh, when you're on, on, in your offices, talking, tell people about STEAM, about the importance of arts education and how it enhances uh, education. We found that Nobel laureates in sciences are significantly more likely to be engaged in the arts and to be supportive of arts education. Our economy needs entrepreneurial, innovative thinkers, and we get that through educating both halves of the brain. So we had a caucus briefing recently where we had uh, industry, Companies like Intel, Lockheed, uh, uh, Lockheed Martin, and Boeing talking about the value of arts education because it leads to more creative entrepreneurial thinkers. So we're, we're broadening our message, reaching more people. Businesses want innovation. They know that we need arts education to have that creative and innovative workforce. Now, in the district I'm honored to represent, I have a company called Nike. Now, where would they be without creativity and design? <laughs> I also am honored to represent the district that's home to Leica, the award-winning uh, animated film studio. You've seen some of their films. Talk about uh, STEAM. They, take, they have fabric artists and clay artists, and they build sets and puppets, and then they do stop-action uh, animation. And then they combine it with high-tech, cutting-edge technology to turn it into animated films. That is STEAM. So we're, we're hoping for more examples. If you're doing things that involve STEAM, combining sciences, engineering, uh, let us know because we want to use those examples to help broaden the support for arts education. I was touring a welding program recently at a community college. 
Now we talk a lot about career and technical education, this hands-on education. Used to be the old shop classes, but now they're doing things like wood shop. And this welding class at a community college, there were uh, students there. I said, why are you in this welding class? And a couple of them said, because we want to be sculptors. So we have to look at ways to broaden that support, and you can help us today by inviting the people you're talking to to join the STEAM caucus. So we'll continue to find ways to incorporate this into policy that supports our educa arts education, and I know you're going to do everything you can to help. So have wonderful meetings today on the Hill. Thank you so much for all that you do. So thanks again for being here.